Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be kind of a little bit of a different video. It's going to be a little exciting. I'm excited. It's kind of a more for you guys to get to know me and also so I can get to know some of my fellow Ipsy OS members. This is a whole reason for this video. It is the Ipsy OS tag. If you guys haven't heard of Ipsy OS before, I'll kind of explain it to you. It's just a little group that I recently actually got accepted into and I'm super excited. It just gives you more opportunities in the beauty and YouTube industry. Whether you're in a certain category, you get invited to events and get special offers and you get to take over their snapchat and just kind of helps you get out there they have an open studio space where if you are a part of the ipsy os family that's what i'm going to call us family community you are more than welcome to schedule a time with them and you can go in and use the studio space there and be able to film i believe they have lights um i don't know if you provide a camera or if they have a camera that I don't know. I haven't really looked into that part because I live nowhere near California. I live on the complete opposite side of the map right now. So it's nearly impossible for me to get over there, but still I get plenty of benefits through this community. I have met so many amazing people and it's just a really awesome community to be a part of. I am so thankful and so lucky to be able to have gotten into it. I am still a small channel, so I just love getting out there and meeting more people on YouTube and just connecting with those people. Julia Sylvia is the one that is kind of behind this whole tag. I believe she was the one that first mentioned it in our little group that we have. She did narrow it down to about 20 questions, I believe it is. So this is gonna be for you guys to get to know me. And again, any of you Ipsy girls who do watch this, let me know, comment down below so that I can go and watch your video and learn a little bit more about you guys as well. So let's go ahead and start with getting to know me. Question number one is how old are you? I am 21, I will be 22 in November. Where are you from? I am from North Carolina. It is a, uh, I don't think it's really that tiny, but it's tiny, it feels tiny to me. Number three is do you have a nickname people call you? People call me Maddie, Madison, I think that's about it. What's your favorite season? My favorite season is fall. I am a fall child, I was born in fall. Fall has my heart, I love fall. Number five is who is your celebrity slash YouTube crush? I'm gonna do one of each, I guess. Honestly, I'm gonna go this route and you guys are probably gonna laugh at me. My celebrity crush would definitely probably have to be Kylie Jenner. That's very, I feel like a basic answer, but she is just so fabulous. For somebody, of course, who's so young, she has so much going for. Yes, she has the Jenner Kardashian name, so that's probably helping her, but at the same time, She's doing her damn thing. YouTube crush? Oh, that's so hard. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Manny MUA. I adore him. I love how himself he is and just how open he is and I don't feel like he hides for anyone. The next question, number six, is what do you do for work? I currently work at Planet Fitness right now and I also am a nanny and I also do a little bit of freelance makeup on the side. Question number seven, do you have any pets? Yes, I have one pet. His name is Benji Benjamin. He is my everything. Let's see if I can get him. This is Benji. This is my entire world right here. He's very camera shy. He does not like the camera at all. Even when we try and Snapchat him or take pictures of him, he does not like it. He will be three years old in December. He is a Husky, a German Shepherd, and an Australian Shepherd mixed dog. He is a mutt and I love him. Next question, what is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, my biggest pet peeve is when people chew with their mouth open, when they smack. Oh my gosh, it makes my skin cringe just hearing it. It is the nastiest thing ever. Please chew with your mouth closed. Number nine, what is the most you've spent in one makeup shopping trip? The most I think I've spent on a shopping trip for makeup, I think, was like 200 I think it was like 207 maybe number 10 do you prefer drugstore makeup or high-end makeup 
I enjoy my drugstore makeup, but I also have high-end things that I enjoy as well. I feel like that's a tough question just because one has what the other one doesn't have. The drugstore isn't very good for highlighters, but they're very good for foundations. I like a lot of drugstore foundations over high-end foundations. It kind of just depends on what I'm shopping for, but I feel like I lean more towards drugstore. Number 11, when did you first start wearing makeup? I first started wearing makeup I think it was probably sixth or seventh grade when I actually started wearing makeup. I think I wore like mascara and that was about it. Number 12, what do you love slash hate about makeup? I love makeup because it lets you express yourself. It lets you feel beautiful. What do I hate about makeup? I hate the rap that makeup gets. I hate that if you wear makeup, or you wear a lot of makeup, like people just automatically assume like, oh, she's cake face or, oh, she has insecurity. 13, other than beauty, what else are you passionately into? I enjoy singing. I don't, I don't think I can sing or anything. I don't think I'm the next American Idol or The Voice or anything like that. I just really enjoy like singing in my car or singing in the shower or just dicking around when nobody's home and singing. 14. If you are upset and or motivated, how do you make yourself feel better? I just love music. I think it can turn anybody's mood around in a hot second, depending on what you're listening to. Don't listen to sappy stuff when you're sappy. It's just not gonna work. I, I turn it up really loud and I just kind of try to forget about what is making me upset. 15. If you had a week to travel anywhere, all expenses paid, where would you go? I would probably go to Germany. My family, my dad's side of the family is German, so I would just love to go and see the place and just learn the culture. And I would love to learn how to speak German. And I've just heard that it's so pretty and it's so clean <laughs> over there. And I just feel like it would be an awesome adventure. I'm um, 16, when and why did you start YouTube? I started YouTube, I think it was about six months ago, six or seven months ago now. I started a YouTube because again, I love makeup and I love sharing my ideas and my creativity with you guys. I just wanted to put myself out there and build my self-confidence. I finally filmed a video one day and just put it out there and it felt good to put it out there. And of course I was nervous. I was super nervous. I didn't even want to post the video, but I'm glad I did. And 17, what advice would you give to someone starting a channel? I feel like everybody says this, but if you're going to do it, do it. Screw what anybody's going to say. Just be you. There's again, only one you and there's nobody like you. There are so many people on the internet, but we're all different. Nobody's alike. There's nobody like you. So somebody's gonna relate to you somewhere. Somebody's gonna connect with you. Of course, you're gonna have the people who are gonna talk shit, but just don't listen. Just do you and worry about you. Number 18, what are you trying to achieve with your channel? I didn't go to school for makeup, so I'm learning as I go and I'm self-taught and I just wanted to help the people who are also self-taught and don't know much about makeup. I wanna put my information out there and what I have to give. I just wanna help you guys have a better understanding of makeup and how things work and how to apply things and what goes with what and just a bunch of different information. Anything that I can give you guys, I wanna give you. I wanna help you learn and we can both learn along this journey and you guys help me out and I help you guys out. Who slash what inspires you the most? So, there's a couple people that inspire me. Um, Makeup by Jack on Instagram inspires me. His looks always slay my soul. Check him out. I'll be sure to leave his Instagram down below. Katie, who's Luster Lux here on YouTube, and uh, Desi Perkins, they inspire me so much. Um, Jacqueline Hill, of course, uh, inspires me. <laughs> yeah, Manny MUA, Patrick Starr, Laura Lee all the biggies out there of course they inspire me so much last question number 20 what advice would you give to your younger self you don't need anyone who doesn't need you and who doesn't support you i was always and always have been a people pleaser i always try and satisfy other people and their needs and their happiness before i fulfill mine and that i feel like is sometimes my biggest downfall just 
live your dream and do what you want to do and don't worry about what other people say about you or what they do. That is all the questions we finished. You hung out with me and I hope you got to know me a little bit better. If you are any of the Ipsy OS girls, hello. Thank you for watching and leave your videos in the comments so that I can watch them and I look forward to getting to know all of you guys as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little something. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Thank you so much for sticking around with me and I'll see you in the next video.